Hello again. Um, today, what I want to talk about is setting up different billing terms for subscription management. You know, we can bill by day, month, quarter, year, decade, however you want to do it. And so, but you need to know how to do that setup. I actually had a client that I had to demo for that wanted to see a five-year term on their subscriptions, which means it was billed every five years, not every month for five years. So let's talk about how we do that. So I'm here with the super user. I'm going to first go into setup and maintenance. I hope I'm going to go into setup and maintenance. And then we're going to first go in. We've got to create a unit of measure for this time period that we want. So I'm going to go here and say manage um, <clears throat> units of measure. Search on that. And the class I want is called time. So I'm just going to search on all the time units of measure. You can see here there's two years biannual. You have quarterlies, annuals, all these kinds of things. So the first thing we do, we'll go ahead and add for, we're going to do a five-year term. So we're going to call it five-year. And five, we're going to give it a description or a name, and then a description, five years. OK, and it's time. Whoops, time. OK. And now what I need to do is save this to go to the next step. So we'll go ahead and save it, but don't save and close because then you have to open it up again. So we highlight that. We go into Manage Unit of Measure Standard Conversions button. We're going to search. Uh, it'll come up. We'll go ahead and create this. And if you don't save it, it won't show up in this list. So here's my five year. The conversion is going to be in hours. And this is where you have to do a little bit of math. Um, so we're going to have 365 days times 24 hours is 8,760 hours per year times five. That's 43,800 hours. And I'm not going to put an end date on that. Um, you can, you can um, set these up for start and stop dates, those kind of things. So here's my five-year unit of measure conversion. We're going to go ahead and save that. Save it again. And then the next step, I have to go into manage subscription time units. So we'll go over here to manage subscription time unit mappings. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put my five year and I have to map it to a base unit of measure that the system understands. And it only understands days, months, and years. So I'll go ahead and create this. We're going to call it um, five year. There it is. My base unit of measure, I'm going to pick years. Like I said, it can only do day, month, or year. So year, and it's going to be five of those. So that's five years. You can notice here I've done a two year before. So we're going to go ahead and save and close it. So those are the two basic setup steps. I got to set up my manage units of measure and then manage subscribe time unit mappings. Now, the other thing you have to do is you have to set up your pricing for your item to be that unit of measure as well. So to do that, what we're going to do is we'll just go up here to the navigation button. We're going to go to order management and we're going to go into um, pricing admin. So uh, the standard um, um, manage price lists. Um, you know, just the standard ones here in the Oracle demo system. So I'm going to go to corporate strategy, which is where most of my pricing is. And I've set up um, an item. So I'll search on that item. And here, what we have to do is when we set up the price, we can set up, you know, it's monthly dues or whatever the different price charges that we've created. But the, the price periodicity is what matters. So this is where you put in that new term that you just created. And I won't create a new pricing for this, but this is for the two-year term that I had created previously. So this item is going to be priced every two years, and it's $500 um, for that two-year term that's in this. So my pricing is set up. Now where we do is we go into um, subscriptions. And I have a subscription set up here already for time consideration. So we create the subscription. Um, and you'll notice that it's set up for that same two-year term that I had created previously. 
um, and then I bring in my item. And here you have to um, adjust a couple things. Number one, it'll bring in the pricing date and terms and everything from before. And I set this up for two two-year periods. So this is a four-year contract. That's why it's from 23 to 27. And then under billing, you have to put in your billing frequency is that new um, unit of measure that you created that two year, okay? When you do that and you run your billing summary, you're gonna see that this is gonna be billed twice every two years um, and it's billed in advance. So the first one will be billed on October 1st of this year when this contract starts. The second billing will happen October 1st in 25, which is two years from now. So this is how you set up different time frames, especially if you have clients that want to be billed uh, more than, you know, quarterly, monthly, annually, that kind of thing. But you can set up these longer time frames in the system. Um, so hope that was helpful.